Hi everyone, it's David at Art of David Smith. Uh, so, for the last one of 2019, uh, I just thought I'd do something with a Christmas theme, obviously. So, just a very quick one here. So, again, we've started with the three circles like we did with the Halloween video. So, what I'm going to do is rough this out and then what I'm going to start doing is putting the detail in with uh, the pen. So, what I'm wanting to show you is again using three very simple shapes how we can then start building our Christmas characters up. So, for the first one We're going to go with the big man himself. This Santa action. Uh, so the last video with Baby Yoda in has gone down ever so well. Uh, I've been getting a lot of comments from that, a lot of positive feedback. So everybody's really enjoyed that one, which was uh, a nice little one to do that. Uh, given he's one of my favourite characters. Uh, so, so I'm using the basic circle and then obviously expanding in certain areas and then in other areas taking away but by at least using the circle we get a nice scale to the actual drawing. And if you're picking up on any signs on outside, all the kids have broken up from school today, so they're all kind of running a little bit rampant in the street. So we'll just ignore that. So, happy face. Again, we're just keeping it simple and so if you were to draw these onto foam board or something like that, you could then think about colouring them in and even making some sort of type decoration, you know, like a hanging decoration. But as we finish the year, there's now 15 videos. This will be the 15th. So uh, if you're watching the videos for the first time, please consider leaving a, uh, a like and a subscribe. And if you like what you see, uh, maybe a suggestion for future videos in the new year. Uh, I do have some subject matter all worked out uh, but if there's anything in particular that you'd like me to cover something that you uh, are not sure of or even do a repeat lesson on something that we've already covered please feel free to message me uh, so in the middle one we're going to go for one of Santa's little helpers Again, we're just taking very simple shapes. And working it up from there, really. If you've not guessed what it is yet, I'm sure 
with the addition of these, and you're going to quickly work out who it is. So what I'm doing with the antlers is I'll kind of put in the centre line in first where I'm going to put the individual part of the of each antler and then what I'll do is then once I'm happy that they're symmetrical I'll then thicken them up and give them a little bit of substance or at least that way rather than trying to draw it and then match it up this way at least we know when we started they are roughly symmetrical so again just like with the Halloween ones quickly draw them in and then I'm going to ink them up like we did with the Halloween pumpkins and the last one And again, you don't have to pick the same characters I've picked. I've just picked three characters which you kind of see all over the, at this time of year. Again, we're just using the circle so we've got them all all the dimensions relative to each other <coughs> well then we can expand them or contract them depending on what kind of character it is that we're doing what we've got here on the end is the snowman well, one person actually mentioned in the Yoda video about having it would have been nice to have done the body uh, for Yoda but At the moment, I don't want to make the videos overly long for everybody who is watching them at the moment. So, uh, at some point in the future, when I can work out which bit of software to use, I can see about possibly speeding up elements of videos uh, when it comes to in the new year. So. Some of the other videos then can be quickened up by speeding those elements up. So, there we go. We've got them roughed up. So, Santa. Let's uh, pop his shoulders in there or something like that. And again, as with all these videos, I'm drawing them darker than I would normally so that you pick up on this on the video. But what I would advise is obviously anybody who is drawing these at home, don't draw them as dark. And then if you do make an error, you can 
erase the lines out, start again. Okay. So if we start with uh, Santa on the end, so again on the outside lines, we're going to thicken these ones right up. And as we move into the face, we'll use thinner pens. And that really gives it a feel of being projecting the actual uh, character off the page. then what I can do off camera is I'll knock out all the uh, pencil lines and clean these images right up for the final piece. So again now because we're on the these inside lines, I don't want these as thick. ones in so you can see what sizes flatten up the bottom of the moustache and So the nose, just to give it a bit more size, really. Okay, again, same with the reindeer. All we do is stick with the sharpie for the moment. Obviously for the purposes of the video I'm kind of speeding through this a little bit but well, you guys spend a bit more time obviously doing these there's no rush Walt as we've all just split up for the uh, festive period, the family is wanting to watch Christmas movies. So, what I wanted to do is for this final video of the year, and thank you all for. Your support. So again, it's reindeer onto the snowman.
end time. It needs to look as if they've been picked off a tree, the branches after all, so a little bit messy because these are lots of coal. We just want them to be slightly irregular. So with the mouth, we'll just put in some of the finer details with the fine liner pen. Now what I'm going to do as well next year is I will do a video going through all the equipment that I use. Uh, I've been asked a couple of times on the run up to Christmas what might be a good gift ideas for some of the people who have been watching the videos, what would I recommend. So I'm going to go through all the things I currently use and give you an idea of some of the things what you could add to your own drawing box for the next year but the beauty of that is you don't have to spend a lot of money on fabulous art equipment it's always nice if you can but everything what I'm going to recommend there is always an alternative where you're not having to spend loads and loads of money but you're going to be able to achieve the same kind of results at this stage it's more about building your skills up than having the best equipment all that will come in time as you grow more confident your skills get better you'll just improve the equipment you get by default so that's just an idea for one of the videos so as I mentioned at the beginning we started with three circles three different sizes and from that we've used that to then construct Santa Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer and a pretty simple snowman. Uh, I'll clean these up off the camera but in the meantime thank you again for all your likes, thank you again uh, for your subscribes and watching the videos and comments. It's, it really is appreciated. Uh, I can't thank you enough. Hopefully uh, as we move into the next uh, into 2020 we're going to start the ball rolling again with a whole new bunch of videos. You'll continue to enjoy them and follow me uh, through your own art journeys. Uh, but in the meantime, have yourselves a fabulous Christmas. Uh, I will see you all in the new year now. And uh, all the best and uh, have a great time. Thank you very much. Bye bye.